What is up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here today playing the next episode of Battle Worlds Kronos. We are playing mission number three, Retaliation, which is where we are getting a little bit of the old payback, some revengeance. We are unloading on the enemy and hopefully he will just be like, ew, why are you unloading on me? Let's do the dialogue. So it says, Captain Hamill is concentrating on the reports that he received from the vicinity. He must have opened the comm link almost unwittingly. Commander, Supreme Command has imposed a heavy load on us. The harbor in the north, the base in the south, and the target base in the very west. In my estimation, all of them are too heavily guarded for us to capture them with the units we have available right now. We should especially keep our hands off the harbor in the north. Well, we're a good team, Hamill. We'll manage it. Well, I feel honored to enjoy your trust, but this is about bare figures. The enemy outnumbers us. Any suggestions? Factory, sir. We've got one at our advanced base, and there are also some at the harbor and in the southern base. The factories will allow us to produce units that will make all the difference in the end. Sounds like a plan. Let's end this conversation and get rolling. Oh, one more thing, sir. The production of units requires resources, and we don't have many of them in our factory. But the depots around here might actually contain some resources. With the help of transporters, we could collect them and take them back to the factories. Hamill gives you a nod. Any battle could be the last one for a frontline soldier like him, quite unlike the life of a commander who just sits in front of a screen somewhere giving orders that others have to obey. Alright, let's select our units from the last mission that we wanted to bring along with us. We should have a better selection this time. You would know that I've been bitching over the last couple missions that I didn't have the right guys for the job. And yeah, we do right here. So, our hunters, as you'll recall, have the extra armor and infinite counterattacks. I'm gonna take two of them. And then we've also got heavy units. And I'm gonna bring our fully leveled up Joker tanks. So we've got another Cerberus there. Let's start this thing off. It looks like it just added them to the front line. And let's have a look about. That's always what I like to do first when we start these things up. So we've got repair chests all around. I'm gonna assume that these little boxes right here, yeah. It's actually got the code right there, the reference code, but let's see what happens here. I bet we can load these into these transport trucks. Yep, plus 20 resources. And then we can more than likely bring them back with us. So let me see if, I don't know if that added it straight to our resources up front. You'll forgive me, but fiddling with this game, I haven't had a whole lot of free time lately. And while I normally like to LP things first before I jump straight in, Unfortunately, I think this little ticker right here is how many resources they're carrying. Now, I don't know if I have to actually drop them off at this factory right here. Let's have a look and figure out what is this factory going to do for me. It produces unarmored and lightly armored units. Okay. Ah, you double click it. That's how you get it to come up. We've got 75 resources and we can build all kinds of stuff. We've got hunters, transporters, bandits. Very cool. Well, before we get in there and start producing things, he said we definitely don't want to hit the harbor to the north, and the main objective is this place right here in the west. So my guess is we probably want to hit that last. I think in my estimation, I'm probably going to go south first. They didn't say anything specifically about which base I should be hitting. Oh, we've actually got more infantry down in there. That's unfortunate. But for now, I do want them to do a little bit of advanced scouting. I shouldn't have used my second move. I should be in like an XCOM mindset right now where I shouldn't be using my last move to scout, but that's what happened. I'm going to have to live with it for now. Let's load all of our infantry off into this forest, and we're definitely going to creep through the bush here, get a little bit of nom action, and figure out what's going on. So now that they're all ankle deep in bush, let's kind of send one of our scouts out as well. We've got a bike over here. Let's think about maybe taking him over by this cannon. Okay, so it looks like the enemy's got units right there. Let's make a unified front for now that's all within range of this cannon right here because I think it can fire three. Yeah. Oh, we've also got a new unit, a Praetorian. Let's have a look at him. So he is heavily armored, it looks like. He's effective against all... Oh, against heavy units. Okay. And he's a serious obstacle to the enemy. He's got an attack and a movement. It looks like he's got some kind of missile pack on top of him. I don't know. He's good for securing tight spots and shielding units in the second and third row. Sounds alright. Let's consider bringing up some of our infinite shootback guys, our infinite counter-strike guys. Because I think that's going to be a nice thing to have up in the front for now. Where's our other one? I know I got two of them here somewhere. Where are you at, elite vehicle? There you go. Get your sexy elite ass over here. Alright, so we've made our front. Let's then... 
Maybe think about, what is that? That's a priest? Okay. Let's bring the priest up, and what's his shooty range gonna look like? Perfect. Let's deploy him right there, just in case they decide to make a rush on us in the next turn. And then I would also really, really like to get some of these cars down here, our bandits. Put them into the second row, maybe. We've also got a larger bit of artillery that we can put in the third row to make our lives just a little bit simpler. Everything looks okay for now. Let's go ahead and, well, I feel like I should just bring everybody to the front lines since there are ways that the enemy can sneak through. I've got to decide who I want to leave behind as a base guard as well. I think I'm going to leave the big guy here just in case they try and rush us. Because the bum rushes, I would prefer to keep things away from my bum for now. They haven't paid nearly the entrance cost for that kind of show. Let's see here. Looks like we've got some more tanks up here, but they said those are the ones that we really don't want to prick. So let's avoid pricking them for now. We don't want to burst that bubble just yet. But let's get everybody over here and we'll situate them. I'd like to leave at least a couple guys in the back to kind of help us out as we go in. We've got what looks like a radar dish right there. I hope this guy doesn't come back in or that they don't have like a thousand dudes right here that are all going to rush me straight through the jungle. But let's find out, I suppose. Oh, I actually control those. Okay, I thought those were just going to fire on their own since they're like automated tanky units. We've got plenty of repair kits back here, so if people need to retreat, we will let them. I don't know if I should start construction right now? There's nothing inside the depot. And what is this? Just a headquarters? I think you just cap those to end missions. I feel like I'm going to be attacked from the ocean too, given this weird positioning of that gun right there. That is unless the water is like a particular threat and we just need to fire a few rounds at it every now and again because H2O, we don't take your shit like that. And that's how we roll. Let's end the turn and we'll see what the- Oh, the enemy's actually- There it is right there. Okay, so they did exactly what I was hoping they would not. They're actually- Oh, we actually pulled a little bit of a ruse right there. Oddly enough, and we've got a big ol' attack coming from this direction. So I suppose they had line of sight on me before I had line of sight on them. My worry here, what is his range looking like? Just the one? Oh, and they stopped right out of range. Dick move. Okay, well, we can fight these guys over here, I guess. Although that does leave me a little bit wanting for particular plans, but it is a pretty heavy infantry force. I, I'd love to line up right here and force them. See, it cost me a joker move, but I know for a fact in the last mission the enemy undeployed, moved, and then deployed again. Unless I was paying attention very, very poorly. Weird. Well, that means next turn we've actually got to deploy again, and so that's not going to work out the way we want it to. But let's get on in here. And I guess we'll pick a fight right here for now. And just really hope that these guys don't jump in. If they do, this could get a little bit less zazzy than I'd prefer it to be. The sheer amount of Zaz could definitely diminish. I'd love to line up a second row. And I'm just going to move him to right there to plug the hole, although it's a bad idea. And let's begin. I'm actually just going to have them skirmish a little bit. And we'll see what the remaining health is looking like at the end of the turn. So it looks like he could potentially kill him, so let's try that. There it is, very cool. And then we're going to go for the surefire kills. I'm not going to go for anything risky, and that's going to leave wreckage right there, which is going to force them to just kind of sit there for a minute, which is exactly what I'd prefer that they do. This is timeout time for them. They don't get to come hang out with me. They don't know me like that, so we push them back, we keep them at arm's length, and we avoid making any unnecessary friendships at the moment. Those damn unnecessary friendships. I'm going to pull this tank in, just in case this column decides to come in and get some. And let's find out, did that drop that? No, I think it actually... Oh no, you can unload, okay, so that's how it works. That wasn't necessarily like explained, but I get it. So once you go into these little places, there's those little tickers, and once you've got the little tickers figured out, you can actually just like offload your equipment, like so it says there's 20 out of 200 being carried. And that leaves us with a pretty good amount of resources to play around with. Let's maybe think about building some other stuff. I don't know what I want to bring along with me. 
But I feel like bandits are probably the best choice. Let's queue up some bandits. There we are. They seem to be pretty good against a reasonable amount of enemies. And let's draw into like an infantry fight right here if we can, because the rest of these actually can't jump in on this. So let's get ourselves into a big old scrum. I'd actually like to scout a little bit further though too. So let's keep an eye on this foresty area. And I suppose the plan... I'll bring him over here as well and we'll kind of swoop around. We'll take a look at this base and figure out what they've got to rally against us. And from here I think I can, he can actually take a shot. So let's do that too. Missiles away! So now that we've plugged him full of new holes, well, we've made new holes in him and then plugged them with explosives. I think we're in a good spot. Can you deploy? No. It was worth a shot. Why not try? Everything else, he hasn't moved yet. I guess we'll give him a run through the jungle. I'm not seeing anything else coming to stop us just yet, but this ruse worked out great. I would way rather have them dogpiled right here. Based on the fact that in the next turn, I'm a little terrified that all these guys are going to bum rush me, so we'll figure it out. Anybody else? Everybody else is looking pretty good right now. Part of me wants to bring Big Bad... I guess I'll call... I'll name him Ben, so if there's alliteration involved, he's Big Bad Ben. Yeah. That's his new nickname, Big Bad Ben. So, let's end the turn. And so we do actually have an infantry battle going here, but... They've put themselves at a precarious disadvantage, because now they're gonna get shot by my machine gun turret. That little dude right there is gonna put just a tiny bit of DACA on my tank. Ooh, and that one's gonna eat up a repair. Parker displays a decidedly friendly and disinterested expression. He doesn't want to show that you're getting on his nerves. It'd be another victory he'd begrudge you. Hello, newbie. You shouldn't be too smug about your recent victories. The Yurlet were taken by surprise and will not be caught off guard a second time. I got your men out of there, nothing else matters. Oh, the big commander isn't just a master strategist, he's also exceedingly modest. Amusement and anger merge in the military officer's face. A lesson needs to be taught to restore the balance of power. No big deal, but essential nonetheless. You think you're better than me? We'll see. I've landed on another island north of you. It'll be mine before you've captured the headquarters on your island. I don't think this war is the right place for rivalries. Commander Parker responds with the traditional answer that has been given when wit has prevailed over instinct. Bok bok bakak. <laughs> Alright then, show me what you've got. If you need help, maybe I can send some of my guys. <laughs> Captain Hamill's face displays genuine concern. Too many times, plain soldiers have paid for their leader's quick temper. I hope you don't let yourself get carried away by rash decisions, Commander. The men were glad that you were able to keep command in the last mission. Commander Parker is a fantastic tactician, but he also has the reputation of gambling with his soldiers' lives in order to succeed. Well, we'll see how it goes. Keep it up, Captain. Yes, sir. And so I have no idea where Parker is going to be landing, but I don't want to get caught fighting in the same spot for too long. Let's go ahead and come down here. We'll return fire there. We'll kill him off once and for all. Put some missiles on him. And actually, I kind of want to level up one of these artilleries. So I'm going to do my best during the course of this playthrough to kill with as many of these guys as I can. Just to make sure that we don't end up kind of... I want to have a wide variety of things to help me out once the shit gets kind of heavy, I guess. Oh, there was a repair kit right there. I feel like an idiot. Well, we're going to send him back to there, I guess. Let's swoop in right here and we'll fire around. Actually, no. Let's bring the tank in. So there's that. That actually doesn't leave me with a decidedly huge amount of options. Let's go ahead and use up the freebie shots from the turret. That's going to kill him off. And while that does deprive my units of a little bit of XP... Actually, I probably should let them do all the combat because, frankly, I don't have any infantry right now that are ready to go mission to mission. And it might be nice every now and again to have high-level commandos that can kind of run through the jungle and handle our problems for us. Elsewhere, we have a decision to make down here whether we want to push in, and I think we are. We're definitely going to make a push down here. Anybody else that still has a move available... 
I would prefer that they come along down here. Leave a few of these units behind, just to make sure that nothing terrible happens right here. And I'll bring him down as well. Probably should have finished that infantry off, but whatever. I forgot he was there. So, it looks like we've got two depots down here. Who knows what they're housing? It looks like they've got a bunch of resources in each one, though. Actually, it looks like this location has resources as well. Let's go ahead and offload some of our transports. And maybe run to these depots. And I think I could probably unload all this stuff and bring it back. It'd be kind of a cool feature. I should probably unload all these hunters, or these bandits as well. So that next turn they get a move. And I'll bring them down to help with this offensive too. It doesn't seem like they have a whole lot down here. So we'll get the resources from there. We'll bring them back once we've done that. I think we should be nice and golden to make a push on... I don't know if I... He said north should be absolute last. So we'll go for north as our final objective, I guess. And then we'll hit west next. I honestly don't know what to expect down here. So we'll just kind of take it one step at a time. Other than that... Actually, let's deploy him just in case anything decides to come down the pipeline here and cut us off. These guys should be fine as long as they stay out here. I could engage in a little bit of combat right there, but what I'd prefer to actually do is wait until they come around this way, and then I'll swoop in and cap this stuff really quickly while their heads are turned. Yurla looks like it's going to keep a continuous flow of units coming this way. So it may be a better option to keep the artillery deployed back here. Kind of an interesting turn of events. I'm going to bring the Praetorian down. He's going to put a round in right there. Let's kill that infantry unit off. Ooh, we didn't kill him. Interesting. Well, we'll give him one more tiny laser and down he goes. Let's create a battle line right here. The artillery is already in a reasonable enough spot that I'm happy with it. Let's bring our infinite counterattack back. You as well. And let's press for ground. What kind of range do I have to play with? Alright, so in this case we're pressing for ground. There it is. And over here, I'm still trying to bait them, but I don't see them coming along with this whole thing. In either case, I don't really mind because it does give me a little bit more time to play around with what they've got remaining on this side of the base. Looks like there's even more resources right there, so that's good. Let's bring all these bandits in so that they can help out with this big fight right here. I wish we had another turret like right here. And it might be a wise decision to actually fall back until we have defilade and we can use this cannon to our advantage. It's something I hadn't really thought about. So in the next turn, I may actually have all these guys fall back to be in line with the cannon so that it gets to fire every single time. One of those little things I didn't think about. Let's go ahead and pick up the supplies. Ah, there it is. Okay, cool. And then over here we had like 75 or something ridiculous. No, 40. Never mind. So you've got 60 more resources there. I thought it said we generate resources each turn, but that may not be real. I may be imagining that. So if I can up if I can offload him still, I would prefer to. There we go. We'll bring them back and we'll start some production. Let's maybe think about bringing down one of these bandits as well. Because I think things are about to get a little bit hairy right there. Other than that, we appear to be sort of out of options down here. Still got some movement left. And I think they'll have to double move to get at me. So let's see. If they don't do anything on the next turn, we'll make a rush for this turret and see if we can't destroy it in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, it's going to deal a lot of damage either way. Let's undeploy and think about maybe moving him forward too. And I think that's going to put him into the firing line. But unfortunately, we've got to get rid of this turret right here. 
I wasn't thinking. That thing could do a lot of damage. We're about to lose to some major, major counter fire. If I'm wrong, I'm going to leave him up there just in case they get smart and they go this way. I wonder if these generate the resources and we have to constantly be making a supply line. Maybe that's what happens. I don't know. There's lots of repair kits, so we'll fall back if we need to. Everybody else... I almost feel like it might be a good idea to make a push right here with these infantry. But then at the same time, I feel like that might be a terrible idea, too. Yeah, I think I'm going to avoid it for now. Let's end the turn. They aren't going to get to fire as many rounds as I was... Oh, God. How they destroyed him in two turns, I'm not sure. I wasn't looking at his health directly, though. And so I don't want to pull forward too much further, because if I pull this big column right here, that's just going to be, like, game over for me. Let's go ahead and occupy ourselves with wounding these guys, making them pay for what they just did. Okay, so we've blown up that unit. I'm going to fire from there and then have him fall back to get repaired. Fire some rockets from that spot. We'll have him deploy, and on the next turn we'll start shooting at that. And it may be... Oh, God, I don't want to rush that thing because I've seen how much they can hurt you. Let me take a look at its info. And it does upwards of 50 damage to anything unarmored. So yeah, I don't really want to bum rush it right now. It seems like a recipe for heartache at the moment. I can get him to there to counterattack, so I'll do that. The sheer lack of damage that he's unloading is making me a little sad. I don't know what's wrong with this tank, but he needs to hit a little bit harder. I'm not going to leave myself completely undefended, but let's bring these guys back to base. And now that they're here, let's offload their cargo. We've got 98 more resources to play with. And they actually didn't regenerate any resources there, which is disappointing. I was hoping they would. I think maybe if I bring him back up in here, I need artillery in this spot pretty badly. I just want to make sure we're killing off everything that could potentially be a problem for us. Maybe move the bike into position right there. The bikes are terrible. They really are just like awful. I don't really know. I'm probably not going to ever build one. Because aside from scouting, it's like, what should I ever use this for? This guy right here, I'm going to leave him up at the top just in case. Got no attack action left. You know what? Let's fight right here. We're going to try and pin these guys. Make retreat very, very costly for them. And then we're also going to capture this depot. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Damn. Is there an undo? Well, balls. That's all I have to say about that. Let's go ahead and deal as much damage as we can, because as you guys recall, dealing damage prevents them from dealing more damage back to you. The more wounded a unit is, the less efficient it performs. So let's just continue firing on them. I think that might be a better decision for these units. Now, I'm willing to bet we may conceivably end up with this infantry pushing up down from the bottom... For now, let's go ahead and end the turn. And that tank hurt like hell. Which is weird because my tank didn't hurt at all when it shot infantry. 
It's okay though, we're still like killing stuff, so I guess that's good. See if I can return a salvo to this guy, possibly. Just kind of remind him that I don't like his face. How is he still conceivably alive? Are you serious right now? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, one HP low. I hate it when things come off close like that. Well, now we have to risk possibly baiting all these guys over, which I'm very worried about, actually. We've got a bit more resources, so we can build some more stuff. Realistically, I feel like the bandits are still the best, like, cost-efficient option, so let's just build two more of those. Those will hopefully be up next turn. These cats down in here can continue their rallying assault against all these little guys. He's going to fire the first artillery round. Can he make it actually within range of that thing? He can. What about you? What can you do? Alright, well let's try and get rid of this turret then. Take a little bit of fire back, but we should be able to kill it, I think. Yep, there it goes. Sehr gut. And let's bring that hunter back up to the front lines just in case they haven't pushed any harder right here but I'm worried that by moving that Praetorian forward I will have made my life difficult it looks like we're just about out of time so my name is Splattercat thank you for joining me here in the nerd castle for another episode of Battle Worlds Chronos I don't know if we're gonna get the achievements on this one because I wasn't really prepared to do any crazy dueling with the enemy most often I mean I wasn't ready to fight with my own side either so there's that I'm not gonna unload that until after this thing is dead bring the remainder of our troops down and handle it but anyways i'll see you guys in the next episode and take care out there everybody